Hi, I'm Skylar. So you want to take a self-portrait with your iPod? Well, it's kind of as simple as point and shoot, meaning that I just turn on the camera, and in the upper right, you've got a little button. It looks like a camera with a kind of rotating icon in it. And if you tap that, it switches between the front and rear-facing cameras. So I'll switch it to the front-facing camera and point it at myself. What you'll notice, though, is that my head looks really kind of big. And that's because of geometric distortion. There's a wide-angle lens on this camera. And what that does is uh, distort the perspective of the image. So if I hold my hand farther away from myself, you'll notice that my head goes back to a more normal size. And if I bring it really close, I look kind of weird. It's not flattering. It makes my nose look huge. So reach out as far as you can. And this can be a little awkward uh, in order to trip the shutter. So what you want to do is use the volume up button, and that's right here. So put your finger on the volume up button, hold your hand out as far as you can go, give it a little gesture and a little squinch. Squinching is what makes portraits, by the way. And click the button. The squinch, technical definition, is when you lift your lower eyelids without moving your upper eyelids. It makes you look kind of suave, or at least a little bit more photogenic. <laughs> Have fun taking selfies. I'm Skylar. Thanks for watching.